Hi Earth Signs, welcome to your reading for the month of July. Now I decided to do these because um, I will be on vacation for the first week of July, so I won't be able to upload any videos. Um, and so yeah, and I also decided, you know, I felt guided to do it by element instead of, you know, for each individual sign. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and get started with your reading for the month of July. All right. These cards I'm still struggling to shuffle. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. This is for Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, whichever you want to do. You could also be cross watching for someone else. So, yeah, let's see. Let me do this one more time it's a little annoying <laughs> all right so let's see what july has in store for earth signs okay so let's see what is in what's your forecast for july for virgo capricorn and taurus One more shuffle and then... okay we're ready so let's see what's happening with earth signs this month yeah sorry you can't see all the cards tried my best to fit them in, but I just couldn't. <laughs> um, Alright. So, um, on the bottom of the deck, I just looked at this. Um, so, I feel like the general energy for July, um, well, there's also this card, but um, also Queen of Autumn. This is you guys, um, Earth Signs, generous, stylish, gracious, practical, be practical with respect to how you proceed, the ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. This could be meeting a woman um, who is also an earth sign. Or this could be you. This could be your energy that you'll be embodying in the month of July. Alright, so let's get started. So, this is, you know, the energy for the month of July. And we have balance. This is temperance. So, take everyone's input into consideration merge viewpoints to create a better solution take your time there's no need to rush so i feel like in july you'll be learning um patience um we'll be learning how to wait for things um you'll be learning learning how to balance your life um possibly balance you know the yin and the yang um the feminine and the masculine qualities um of yourself or just in your life or whatever um so yeah, the theme for this month, um, I think, will be balance, you know, balancing your life. All right, and what will be blocking you this month? We have justice. Um, take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end fair and objective decisions. All right, so what can be blocking you in July could be a Libra. Um, it could be a legal situation, possibly... A divorce um, or it could be a marriage you know just a marriage that um, isn't working out the way you want it to or some other legal situation possibly um, a karmic situation um, relationship or something 
Um, justice can also be about balance. You know, it's the Libra card. Um, and, you know, we have... This is Sagittarius, but, as you know, it's balance. Um, so this could be you um, struggling to balance this month. So, yeah, the blockages could just be, you know, legal things, um, a Libra maybe, um, or just um, this, um, you know, needing balance. Your blockage is not having balance, but I feel like at some point you're at point this month. At some point <laughs> this month, you might. Well, you're going to find you know your balance, and you're going to resolve this issue. All right. Moving on to the distant past, King of Summer, honorable, devoted, mature, warm-hearted, a romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. Alright, um, so in the distant past, this could be a person, um, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This could be someone in the pe or it doesn't have to be, but it could be someone that you might have had romantic feelings for. Um, someone who, you know, had these traits, or at least you thought they had these traits, um, I mean, yeah, a romantic partner, if this could be um, an ex, maybe, or this could be someone you're dating now, someone you want to date, it doesn't matter, um, someone that you might have had romantic feelings for, or had a, a very strong connection with, you know, strong friendship, this could also be a boss, maybe, um, you know, whatever resonates for you, but yeah, that's the distant past, now the recent past. We have the wheel, the wheel of fortune. <sighs> okay, um, delays are over. Sudden or unexpected good luck. A new car or travel. All right, so um, I mean, you could have gotten a new car or traveled somewhere in the distant past. Um, but this could be um, maybe you um ran into some good luck uh something good happened to you or this could be that um something that happened was destined to happen you know the wheel of fortune talks about destiny and um events that are meant to happen you know they're meant to be so this could be that in the distant well not the near past recent past um something destined happened and it could have been relating to this king of summer um water sign um or any sign or any situation um but yeah so yeah just destiny did its thing in the recent past now the present we have eight of summer the desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. Alright, so I feel like this could be about, um, like I said, this king of summer. It could be an ex, um, ex-partner, um, maybe someone that it didn't really work out with um, in some way. Um, but yeah, this could be you walking away from them walking away from this situation presently um you know you're trying to you know you realize it's time to move on and you're trying to um just not dwell over the situation not um focus on it too much or this could be um about just not necessarily leaving a person in the past but leaving things that happened in the past, maybe you're trying to move on from something like an event or some feelings, um, just you know, something. Well, the cups are about this is eight of cups, so cups are feelings, so you could be trying to leave feelings in the past, um, old feelings, um, 
that you feel like no longer serve you, no longer improve your life in any way. So in the future, for July, we have Three of Summer, another cut card. Um, so we have news worth celebrating, announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births, friends you cherish. So this could be you um, going to a lot of parties, um, social gatherings in the month of July. You could... This could also be about reuniting with um, possibly this king of summer, um, maybe I'm making the relationship work, possibly. Um, this could also be about um, a third party. I'm not reading reversals. Well, I did with, um, I think it was fire signs, but that was by accident. <laughs> but for the rest of the um, elements, I'm not reading reversals. So keep in, this could be a third party, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I feel like it's more positive since, um, I mean, not just because it's that bright, just because that's what I'm feeling. Um, I'm feeling that it's a positive thing. You know, you'll have something worth celebrating in the month of July. All right. Now, how you see yourself in this situation. We have two of spring. A bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Great progress being made. So this could be about um, how you see yourself making a decision maybe this month. Um, possibly making a, making a decision to either walk away from this king of summer or um, to be reunited with them, you know. Um, possibly try to be in a relationship with them again or for the first time, you know, whatever the situation is. Um, so yeah, this could be about you seeing yourself as indecisive, like you have two different paths and you don't know which one to follow. Um, so yeah, that's how you see yourself and how other people see you. We have Prince of Spring. Charming, self-confident, passionate, restless. Immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage a passionate relationship. Alright, so I feel like um, people are seeing you as, you know, all these things. They're seeing you as a very confident person. You're going after what you want. Um, you are... Like, you're not um, sitting around and waiting for something to happen. Maybe you're going after what you want. Um, and you're just being really active. And you come off as very confident. Um, even if you don't really feel confident. You know, people are seeing you as that. Now, your hopes or fears for July. Three of Spring. Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. So I feel like um, this is more of a hope. Well, actually, <laughs> it could be a hope or a fear. We do have the three of cups here. Three of summer, which I said could be a third party um, situation. And this is another three. So you could be fearing a third party situation. And... Um, so yeah, that could be one way to look at it. Or this could also be, you know, the theme for July is balance. It's temperance. It's, you know, temperance is about patience. Um, and, you know, this card is saying have patience. So maybe you're hoping that being patient will pay off. And, um, you know, the three of spring is about waiting for, like, your ships to come in. So you're hoping that um, being patient and waiting for um, whatever you want to come to you, you're hoping that that will be successful for you. So yeah, that's your hopes and fears. Um, and the outcome. We have five of spring. 
opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. So this could be, um, you know, fighting, um, possibly fighting with others, fighting with yourself, um, just, you know, um, butting heads with people and just not seeing eye to eye, um, in July. I'm actually going to clarify this because Five of Wands can be, um, mental conflict, you know, just, um, because I did say that you see yourself as someone trying to make a decision, someone who has two paths to take, and, um, I feel like this could be about mental conflict, but it could also be about fighting with other people. So I'm going to clarify it and see what's going on. So yeah, what's going on with this Five of Wands? Clarify the Five of Wands for the outcome for July. Outcome for July. Seven of Summer. Yeah, I feel like this is mental conflict. I feel like this is... I mean, it could be, it could be fighting with other people, but I feel like it's more, it's more fighting with yourself over this decision, because if this person, this King of Summer, if they do come back into your life, and, um, you know, you've been working, presently, you've been working to move away from this person, or whatever, whatever situation you're in, you've been really working to move away from it, and to move past it. But so with Seven of Summer here, um, this is about confusion. This is about delays. Um, see, no more, per no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. So yeah, you might be overanalyzing a little bit. Um, um, but you know, your power comes from making a decision. You need to decide what you want this month. And I feel like... You know, um, in the Temperance card, she's holding two cups, and so this could be, once again, two of spring, you know, options. Um, so maybe that's why that's the theme for this month, is um, balance, it's temperance, it's um, having two different options and needing to decide which one you want. So yeah. Um, that's the outcome for July. I'm gonna see if there's any more energy, um, any more cards, you know, things that you need to know for the month of July. Let's see. Anything more that my earth signs need to know for July? Extra information about this situation. have the Emperor. Um, use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized. A firm but compassionate leader. So this could be about an Aries. Um, possibly um, this could be about a person um, that you're trying to decide um, between leaving them or um, being with them. This could be also saying that maybe you might decide to um, give this person a chance, a second chance, um, whether um, you might decide to, um, you know, date them because we have the heart here and um, the emperor is about you know commitment it's about um, yeah just um, a firm stable person relationship um, so yeah this could be you deciding to get back with this person I mean I'm not saying that's what you have to do, but it's what you might do. Or this could be you, the decision you might be making. Um, the two options might between might might <laughs> sorry um might be 
between two people a water sign pisces cancer scorpio and maybe an aries or just two people that embody um what these two cards represent so yeah all this could just be about you taking power in the situation um this man has a heart in one hand and the world in the in the other um so you know that's two things i feel like this is you weighing two different options um you know deciding which one you want and you know you have the power to do that you know this is the emperor you have the power to make whatever decision you feel like you need to make all right so there you go our signs i hope you enjoyed um please like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye